So we've got three different types of 350 ammunition. I'm excited to announce that we've got actually three. We started with one, that, which has been a good seller for us for the last two years, which has been a 160 grain all copper bullet. And this year we launched the 140 grain bullet, which we believe is gonna really change the industry for how they perceive the 350 and what it's capable of. The 160, 2300 feet per second, 160 grain bullet, great expansion, great penetration, but a little bit slow, a little flatter, a little bit more of an arc type trajectory, works really well. A lot of people like it. Um, what we've gone back and done is similar to what we've done in the 450 caliber, is we've lightened the bullet up, shortened the bullet up, increased our powder capacity, and we've got two product offerings. One that's made specifically for uh, semi-auto like the AR platforms or the bolt guns that have the magazine blocks in them where they can only use a two and a quarter inch length shell. And then we have the other version which has our ballistic tip in it which allows them to use either single feed it in an AR if you want to, like the guys in Illinois where they can only use single shots or a single shot rifle. Or if you've got a magazine that's been modified similar to what this rifle is, you can actually use this longer ammunition as well. The 140 grain bullet's going 2,600 feet per second. It basically emulates what we see from a trajectory with our 450. So two inches high at 100 is gonna be less than two inches low at 200. And out to 225 yards, you really, with that trajectory, you don't have to worry about anything. Just put it on them and touch it off. Um, really makes the 350 into a really strong 250, maybe even 300 yard deer rifle. Bullets are all copper machined here in Michigan like we do with all the others. Um, uh, near weight, near 100% weight retention, just the tip comes off. Uh, the 140s you may actually lose a little bit if your shots are really close, but the key here is we want to make sure that bullet transfers all of its energy when it impacts. So if you're up close 30 yards and in, you might lose a few grains. When you get it to 100 yards and beyond, it's going to be a 140 grain bullet minus a ballistic tip. We are almost, from a popularity standpoint, we're selling almost two to one, the 350 versus the 450, when you look at our ammunition sales. Um, the, four, the 140 grain bullet, as an example, for distance, um, we've had customers, uh, we had a number of, of individuals that were shooting this ammo last fall to make sure, we wanted to make sure it was going to work really well. Um, we had uh, one individual shoot deer, I believe, out to beyond 280 yards. A uh, big mature doe, is the report that I got back, uh, dropped right in its tracks. Uh, we had another individual uh, shooting a suppressed Ruger over by Grass Lake, shot two big mature bucks. Um, both of those, uh, one was like 180, one was like 120, both of them down within 20 yards or at the shot. Um, clean kills, no issues. The real key to our bullets is the rapid energy transfer. That bullet's going through the hide, it goes full open, and when it hits that chest cavity, um, even on a, a 350, you've got 9 sixteenths of an inch, 5 60, maybe even up to 5 eighths of an inch uh, hole that you're gonna put in that impact side when it hits. Uh, it may not punch all the way through, but you've done so much damage to those lungs on that impact side, and then as it transfers across that body, that animal's not gonna go very far. If you look at any of the OEM manufacturers, um, they're, any of the hunting rounds are gonna be 100, 150 grains and heavier, and the speeds are gonna start at about 2300 fast, and then they're gonna slow down from there as the bullet gets heavier. What we're doing is we're going lighter, taking advantage of the copper because we don't lose anything, and we're, we're increasing the speed up to that 2600 feet per second range. Um, that's based on the 22 inch barrel. If you've got a 18 inch barrel, you, for every inch you go shorter, you're gonna lose about 25 feet per second. Uh, even so, the, the ammo still works exceptionally well. It's gonna be still roughly 300 feet per second faster than what the OEM ammunition is gonna be, regardless of barrel length. Uh, the rifle, this is an example of one of our high-end um, 350 rifles that we plan to build more of. Uh, we built a number of them this year. We've been very happy with them. Um, Tika Action, Douglas Barrel, um, Mesa Stock, um, aftermarket accessories we can get for it would be the uh, Vixen Andy Trigger. Um, this rifle actually has um, Saco uh, rings on it, but the tallies are usually what we will use for these. Uh, the Leupold scope, or it could be a Night Force scope, or it could be a Huskama. Uh, any of those three we, we would be more than willing to put on these guns. 
if, if the guns don't produce at least one MOA or better, um, we won't let it leave our shop. Typically, they're half MOA rifles um, with our ammo, um, which when you, you know, you, this is a, a seven pound rifle uh, with a 140 grain bullet going 2,600 feet per second. Um, it's a really nice deer rifle, uh, Midwestern deer rifle, or even if you, I've used it out west as well. Uh, the 350, the recoil is approximately what you would see um, with a 243, maybe a little more than that, six millimeter. Um, where a kid, you, you know, you want to start them out with something that's not going to scare them, it's not going to beat them up. Um, they're confident in it and they can control it. Kids can use it. Uh, my granddaughters will probably be using it this year, and but their dad also uses it. So you're going from an 80 pound kid to a 6'1", 240 pound guy. And, and it, it fits the gamut for everybody, and, you know, wives. Um, we've got other clients, we've got a number of clients that both husband and wife use the rifles because the wife doesn't mind shooting the 350, and then they also use it for the kids as well.